Pakistan is mad at us again. Again. So, um, you guys might be familiar that there's a certain very, you know, online organization. They stay online and they stay digging into things and they stay in your business. And it's called the Pakistani Telecommunications Authority or the PTA for short. And they like to go around Twitter in particular and put a lot of blasphemy claims on things and order Twitter to take it down because it's so offensive. And it's kind of a badge of honor in the ex-Muslim community to get a little email saying that Twitter has received a request from the Pakistan law enforcement regarding your Twitter account. It's a badge of honor. It, it shows that you've really made it, you know, in some ways. Um, <laughs> you're, you're, you, you've been put on the map let's say. And uh, so we had one happen to us recently. And uh, actually, you know, just this few weeks ago, or maybe last week, we got a few more emails rolling into the inbox saying, oh, Pakistan, that they have something to say again. So I thought I, we should review with you guys, you know, what what the PTA, our good friend, the PTA, why, why they're knocking at our door again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Twitter is telling us that they received legal letters from g government of Pakistan about our tweets. Okay, so this is what Pakistan is up to. This is how Pakistanis, this is how your tax money is being spent. So let's look at, let's, sh shall we look at the tweets that we have? Twitter has received legal complaints from the government of Pakistan. There's two this time, right? There's this time, there's two. All right, so yes. here's the first one. Here's the first one. Oh, yes, of course. Of course. Our beautiful Allah's gay shirt, still available in the Atheist Republic merch store. Check the link in the description if you want one. Um, I yeah, would put they, a they link. Have, why would they have actually, a problem? Why would they have yeah, a actually, problem me, with this? I will put I the link in the description below. Okay, so there's that. If you do want to get the shirt. So thank you, the Pakistani mm -hmm. government, for giving us an excuse to promote this shirt for people <laughs> who might not have been no know, know about it as yet. But here's the thing. This tweet is from 2020. Yeah. How? I mean, it must be rosy in Pakistan. You must have figured everything else that you're going through our tweets and finding tweets from three years ago three years ago like what are you like what how are they coming up like why someone's getting paid for this someone's getting paid to go through our tweets and filing it's not like just like clicking on it or reporting it or anything like that exactly yeah, they, yeah, have yeah, a, exactly. they have a law firm they have a legal team that sends complaints to the to the offices of twitter mm -hmm. it's not like it's not like a five minute thing these are lawyers that are getting paid top dollar because lawyers ain't cheap right to do this for you this is again as as your pakistani you should be proud this is where your hard-earned money is going towards okay so this was one this was this one was old and it's, it's amazing because we got these two tweets at the same time one of them from three years ago and mm -hmm. one of them that we just posted like, how are we getting these two at the same time? I don't understand. Because I thought that maybe maybe they're not going through our tweets from three years ago. Maybe they filed this three years ago, and then we just got it. Like, it just took the process just takes this long. And no, they're like, no, that doesn't make any sense because the other one in the same email was just from, like, a week ago. Yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, so they're actually going through our tweets from years ago. These idiots are actually going through our tweets from posted years, like something that nobody else is seeing. You're you're the one who's bringing it to surface because nobody is seeing that anymore. So thank you. You you played yourself. Something that people weren't seeing now people are gonna see because you decided to cry about it. Okay. So let's let me bring up the second one. Do you have a very good point? <laughs> Okay, maybe their first one was not very, you know, not smart. Okay, maybe the first one was like, "What's the harm in this? Like, who, who, how is this harmful? How is this dangerous?" But this one, this one, I think they have a point. This is dangerous. This is like, this is a, this is a threat to society. This is, I think, I could understand why this one 
they had mm. an issue with. So mm. here's the second tweet. Yeah. Okay. Explain. Explain to me why this is so dangerous. I mean, look at it. I, I'm. I'm. I feel threatened already. Look at this. This is, <laughs> this is going to dis- destroy the fabric of society. I uh-huh. mean, especially the hashtag. The hashtag saying the future of Islam. Mm-hmm. That is a pretty bold claim, right? By the way, guys, this is. Uh, brought to you, sponsored by BlasphemousArt.com, where you can get our juicy, juicy blasphemy. So again, thank you, Pakistan. I think Pakistan's government is committing blasphemy by highlighting blasphemous art, right? So maybe they should you... put themselves on the... You're making so many good points today. You're on fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, so thank... I'm, I'm proud of this one, right? So this is um i'm really happy with this tweet that we made on atheist republic and i didn't have an excuse for me to share this with you but by the way the guys this is this is ai art this is ai right and i i came i made this and i wanted an excuse to share this with you guys on youtube because follow us on twitter follow, follow atheist republic on twitter at atheist republic because you don't get to see these things on our youtube channel but you do get to mm. see it on our twitter account right so but now I, because of this, now I have an excuse to, to, to show. Yes, but D is right. Uh, we're, D is AR, saying that Atheist Republic is spreading corruption, and uh, Seed of Iblis is saying, <laughs> "Mashallah, I have now reverted to Islam." <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm not kidding. This, you know, I'm, I am kind of kidding, but I'm also very serious. This is, I think, the future of Islam. We had a whole series of art like this. But um, mm-hmm. the future of Islam, but what, what I was trying to um, say with these art, uh, AI arts like this one is to say that like the Islamic symbols will end up being s- symbols only. Like it wouldn't have its mm. religious meaning. It wouldn't have its religious meaning anymore. It would just be a cultural symbol mm-hmm. right? than a mm-hmm. religious one at some point. Because it's obviously not serving the purpose of hijab here, right? Mm. So by putting this, by by sh- by demonstrating it in this way, I was trying to suggest that the the process of the secularization, not reform, the of secularization of Islam, it is in process, and that's where we end up. We're going to end up being. I have so much other art. I don't know if I if I if I search for future of Islam, they're going to show up. That's actually a very interesting commentary, Armin. Oh, really? Thank you. Yeah. Have you been thinking about writing more articles recently? Ah, I should write something about the future of Islam. That's what I'm thinking. Thing. What was yeah. that other article that I wanted you to write about so badly? I feel like it was something to do with Iran. I think we talked about it last week. Mm. Yeah. Why don't I have all the... Future of Islam tweets in one place. That's crazy. Oh, here. Here's a good one. Mm. Wait, maybe I should just go on our Instagram as a way to promote our Instagram. Yeah, let me go, let me go, let me go, uh, show you all the future of our uh, future of Islam post. Uh, oh, wow. Here, let me see. Okay. Remind me to show that next time because I just got a strike on Instagram. I don't know why. <laughs> here. I was trying to show, I was trying to show you something on Instagram and of I course. just, yeah, your story goes against our community guidelines. Okay. What, what did hell? I do? That looks like something from your Persian content. Yeah. It's Persian violence or dangerous organization guidelines. I didn't say any, photos <laughs> or videos of extreme graphic violence. There is no photos. Uh, this is a debate. Well, okay. This is a go. debate. I don't have any photos there. Okay, here, let me just accept it so we can move forward. I want to show you guys the. Okay, so let's go to Atheist Republic's Instagram. You're seeing this? Oh, yeah. the drag king, the drag queen uh, Jesus was actually really good. <laughs> Yeah, so we have the drag queen Jesus. These are all AI made. But we also have, oh, we have the snake um, coming 
in his own defense, trying to tell people that it was not his fault. But where's the future of Islam? Let me go further. Oh, this is um, the Marvel superheroes becoming Muslim. So we have this one. And but look at I want to show you the future of Islam ones. They're they're a lot more juicy. Oh, this one I made this one. This is Gay Pride Parade right next to the Kaaba. I made that one myself. This is two two men kissing in front of the Kaaba. This is the future of Islam. These are two women kissing in front of the Kaaba. It's so cute. Yeah, like romantic. It's so wholesome. Huh? Oh, here's another two women kissing in front of the Kaaba. Another two women kissing in front of the Kaaba. Here's the LGBT I really like flag. this one. Yeah, that was cool. the LGBT flag yeah. at the Kaaba. You like that? Yeah. Mm. Oh, Ooh, this he is one. asking, will AI predict Muhammad? Ex excuse well, me, depict Muhammad. No, no, I can't do Muhammad. I can't do it. Doesn't when you do Muhammad Allah, it's like it goes like no, 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 no. But it'll do Jesus. Like, it will do Jesus. Yes. This one was we'll good. Do Hindu like, stuff? Yeah, it will do. It would do Hindu stuff. It would just don't, don't, doesn't do Muhammad. It does Islam and Kaaba. Like if I say two men kissing in front of Kaaba, it will do that. But if oh, I clearly. say Prophet Muhammad, it will say no. Yeah. What do you so think? I, because, you know, I know this because I tried to get Prophet Muhammad and Jesus kissing, but it wouldn't do that. It wouldn't do you that. know how I know this? <laughs> the way you said that. Because <laughs> I was trying to make them kiss. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is another feature of Islam. This one, oh, you already got, you guys saw this one. Oh, look yeah. at this one. This is, my, this is very cute. Future of Islam. Let me see if there's anyone else. Oh, this one is a good one. Yeah. Anyways. So, yeah, now we know why. Uh... <laughs> Do you think the Pakistani government was right to, to, to file reports against this? I mean, clearly, we are a menace to society. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody should stop us. We are a menace. Oh, my God. This one is really cute, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's very futuristic as well. It's very cyberpunk type. I don't know. Mm-hmm. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.